Ladies and gentlemen, there are some reports from Hoop Central saying the Oklahoma City Thunder will be trading Kemba Walker during the offseason for some trade assets. Of course, before I get into the video, if you guys could leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on post notifications. Also, check out my brand new second channel, Specs Live. I'm going to be streaming on there every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. With that being said, let's talk about Kemba Walker. So, the exact report from NBA Central was saying that report expectation is that the Thunder will be able to trade Kemba Walker for trade assets. To be honest, I think we all kind of did not expect this to happen. I think we all, the, the Thunder, were going to try to kind of recreate the Chris Paul situation that we got this year. We had an older point guard, but he still led his team to the playoffs because the Thunder have so much potential. They have a lot of draft picks. They have a young team they have a really good player in sga who i'm actually be talking about in a little bit but nevertheless i do not expect them to make this move but they are expected to be trading him and i do have a couple ideas on where he could land i just don't agree with them now this whole entire video is not going to be a kemba walker trade video because like i said he, he's just expected to be traded for trade assets not really of a oh he is the primary guy and he is the reason we want to make this trade he'll probably honestly just be thrown in there now sam presti is notoriously being known for having a million different draft picks and trying to think on the future and it does seem apparent that he was trying to do this after it was reported that he tried to get Cade Cunningham aka the number one pick by trading the six pick and SGA which was a move I didn't think was that smart I do feel like though there is a world where the Thunder could offer maybe Kemba Walker and like a bunch of first round picks including this year's six overall pick or they could move up to maybe a top three pick and they don't even need Cade Cunningham because in reality I feel like they could get a player like Evan Mobley or Jalen Suggs that's a player that I'd rather them get than Cade Cunningham because I really don't think there's another chance that any other team gets Cade Cunningham unless the Pistons for some reason change their mind because I think everyone in Detroit is already settled on we're gonna pick Cade Cunningham because he seems like a really good player now my thoughts on Cade Cunningham aren't as big as I am for some of the other prospects but nevertheless the Pistons have made up their mind and it does seem like he will be the surefire number one pick now just like the New England Patriots and just like the LA Lakers and even the Yankees in baseball it does seem like that these are the teams that everyone's like oh every free agent's gonna go there every trade is gonna go there so we do have to mention that the LA Lakers could possibly be get Kemba Walker however though he does have a very big contract so I don't think it's that possible and I don't even know what his contract is looking like besides the 30 million dollars like how many years he has left but if the Thunder were able to dump him off for more trade assets and some good picks maybe even some younger players and that would be a sure W for the Thunder I wouldn't even count on Kemba Walker wanting to go to the Lakers necessarily he could be the starting point guard but in the looks of it right now they are looking to get other point guards like for example getting Kyle Lowry I think there's even rumors that they might even try to get like a more younger one necessarily in my opinion i don't think it's necessarily smart that they're trying to do this because i think kemba walker isn't a bad point guard he's getting on the older side yes but you have to remember even though he was injured last year he still did have a productive season i would say for the most part he did average 19 per game which isn't too bad he had an efficient shooting season and yes he was hurt most of the time but that's still not that bad considering that it was just a bad year for him but he's played better in other years and i don't think boston really wanted to kind of keep him along for the long road they just said that okay we're gonna trade you and they didn't even trade more like just dump him keep in mind only two seasons ago Kemba Walker was averaging over 25 points per game which isn't too bad for someone his age now this is not I don't know if this is more of a bold take or just an interesting take I do believe that the Thunder will make a move to go up from six because six isn't a terrible draft pick but I would say outside of four that they could get a lot more better of some picks in my honest god opinion if they're going to be dumping Kemba Walker I do believe that they should try to get Jalen Suggs I think that is a really good player in my opinion this is a hot take i will be talking about this in a future video because i'm going to do a mock draft i think he's better than Cade cunningham that's my personal opinion so i honestly think that the thunder have kind of given up on trying to get the number one pick unless they're going to somehow dump kemba walker and sga for a number one pick which is would be the dumbest trade i've seen because Cade cunningham is potential but the only problem is sga isn't potential he's really good right now and the, his potential though is that he could get better when he's already an elite scorer right now now, this is not me saying that Cade Cunningham is going to be a draft bust, but I honestly think that NBA teams shouldn't try to give up all their assets, all their really good players, just to get a pick. It also says that SGA is available, which I think is also pretty dumb, and that he could be getting either moved to Boston or Dallas. Which so kind of questions, okay, why didn't you just do Kemba for SGA and all those other assets? However, though, Sam Presti's master plan is that he's just trying to build up all these draft picks. I don't know if it's to get a superstar or to get like a number one pick one of these years, but your time is running out. You have all these picks. And yes, they're for like 2025 20, and up. But honestly, you're at this point where your 
team is trash and unless you guys are trying to get a number one pick in one of these upcoming years you should really consider trying to trade a decent amount of those picks and try to get not even the number one pick this year maybe even a number three or number four pick or maybe even try to get the number two pick from the rockets with that being said though if nothing does happen to kemba walker or he does get traded for something else that doesn't revolve around a pick there's a good chance that the uh, oklahoma city thunder could be taking someone by the names of james bonai he's a shooting guard from uconn he averaged 18 and 5 a game not too bad he's not that good at the three ball averaging only 29 percent but nevertheless i don't think that would be that good of a pick which is why if you go one spot closer they're saying either scotty barnes or jalen suggs will be available so i really think they should try to make a move for a top three pick with that being said comment what you guys think is going to happen to kemba walker and if you're the oklahoma city thunder would you trade him already or would you try to wait maybe towards the trade deadline that's coming up this season or just dump him right now leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel i'm going to be streaming tonight on specs Lab. i love you guys you guys go take care peace